What is up, guys? Welcome to the finale of Edgar Allan Poe's murder mystery invite only casual dinner party gala for friends potluck. I feel like 11 episodes in, I should finally say the entire title. Uh, I think I did it. Um, but yeah, this has been so much fun so far. It's been absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, the acting has been spot on. The references, the writing, I've loved. The production value has been really good. Like, this has just been a treat all around. And yeah, obviously the mystery. The mystery is great. The whole plot and everything of, yeah, all of the writers, wonderful. And yeah, so here we are. We are finally at the finale. Um, so Charlotte and her sister Anne, it has just been revealed, are the killers. So, well, are at least two of the killers. Personally, I feel like at least one other person, maybe Annabelle, maybe Hemingway, but I don't think so, but more possibly Poe, um, saw, like, the fact that people were dying as a, as an opportunity to maybe kill somebody he wanted dead. <coughs> Eddie, obviously, he was not a fan of Eddie's. Uh, we saw that in the opening scene of last week's. But yeah, I am I, I could not be more excited for this. And apprehensive, obviously, because it's just about over. Uh, but I'm definitely, like, of all the things that I've reacted to on this channel, this is going to be one of the, one of the ones that I've probably introduced to people the most. And that's not taking anything away from any other, you know, thing that I've seen on this channel. It's just... It's so fun and it's so impressive and I just, I love every second of it. So thank you so much Shipwrecked for doing this. Uh, yeah, it, it has blown me away so far and now it's just time to see you bring it home. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, you know, sticking with me through this whole thing. It's been so much fun and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the finale. Welcome, friend, to Edgar Allan Poe's murder mystery invite-only casual dinner party slash gala for friends potluck. Uh, pet rock for the beautiful Annabelle Lee. What gives Poe very mysterious having vials of poison lying around? The past comes into the present. The one who kills for sport. You straight up murdered these biddies with your magic beans. Eddie was a banker who was foreclosing on our family home. Acton Bell, it's yours. This woman is an admitted murderer. She didn't do it alone. I did it for family. I really want Emily Dickinson to come back. <laughs> I really do. Gentlemen, ghosts, let me introduce myself. I'm Anne Bronte. So sorry I'm late for dinner. Some of you may remember me from such novels as The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. Or from killing some of your friends tonight. <laughs> Put up your dukes, woman. Woo! Oh, hey, whoa. Oh. That's it. You have a gun? You had that the whole time? Of course. Where? Hmm. It was a present from my lover, Anton Chekhov. What? I've been seeing Anton. Me too. That he has Chekhov's gun. This doesn't gun. add up. <laughs> we were with Charlotte when Miss Elliot was being murdered. Then who murdered Agatha Christie? That happened at the same time. No. It can't be. Oh. It can. <laughs> oh, Eddie, no way. Giving himself the slow clap. I like. No, no, no. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Poe. You figured it out. You... You murdered Annabelle Lee. You're mad! You fancy me mad. Madmen know nothing. But you should have seen me. 
You should have seen how wisely I proceeded, with what caution, with what foresight, with what dissimulation I went to work. Get to the point. Ha! <laughs> Mr. Hemingway, you do so value brevity. Would that your life may end up longer than your fictions. Fine. Earlier this evening, you had the honor of meeting my brother. Dostoevsky? No. H.G. Wells. No, not H.G. Wells. My brother was in ghost form. He was a ghost. Dostoevsky. No, good God. Dostoevsky. <laughs> Guy Devere. Oh. The erstwhile fiance of this Lenore. Her mega. Guy's brother? You were always away. Guy missed you so much. Indeed. I, Eduardo Dantes, am in actuality Edward Devere the Sixth. By the time I arrived home, Lenore had fallen ill and died. So consumed with grief was my brother that he ended his life. My hatred for Lenore is matched only by my hatred for one other, Krishanti, the psychic who brought Lenore back in ethereal form but could not do the same for my brother. You killed her? Hmm. I did. He's I was quite tall! Happy when Mr. Wells pushed for her presence. Oh, poor Lenore. It looked like you two were getting along quite well. Are you just trying to kill people that I care about? Because you are overestimating how much I care about people. Oh, no, my dear. I had far greater aspirations for tonight. Perhaps you've heard of my great-grandfather, Edward de Vere, 17th Earl of Oxford. You mean that Elizabethan hack, right? Some people believe he had a hand in writing Shakespeare. Or oh, that he was Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare was a liar and a thief, just like everyone! We're not thieves. You're delusional. <laughs> oh, Poe. Edwin Allen Poe. It's, it's Edgar. Earlier, when I was talking about being mad, you wrote that down. What? No. No, I didn't. You did. You're going to use it later, another tale of woe. That's <laughs> ridiculous. This whole plan is ridiculous. There are countless other ways you could have exacted revenge for some made-up conspiracy. But what better revenge for my ancestor than to gather a group of the world's most famous authors and murder them, just like he should have done to William Shakespeare. Yeah, but why us? We didn't steal your grandpa's dumb plays. Oh, I had other reasons. I could eliminate Mary Shelley and take undue credit for Frankenstein, much the same way that Stratfordian hack took credit from my ancestor. I could send a message via Mr. Hemingway that my debts are paid. I could dismiss Emily Dickinson and her constant braying about noise pollution. Christ, if that <laughs> woman ever stop talking. And Mr. Wilde. It would not do for rumors of our drunken dalliance to spread. You were drunk? Quite. But I was stone cold sober when I began courting Annabelle Lee, knowing of her connection to Lenore and the power of persuasion she could have over Mr. Poe. I manipulated her into bringing all these victims here but I knew I would need help. How'd you broads get involved? I haven't been in five days. <laughs> it's quite a simple story, really. Some time ago, our brother Branwell became involved with a married woman. Somehow that two-bit hussy Jane Austen found out about it. Well, I can't sit idly by while my brother has an affair with my reverend's wife. Goody two-shoes Jane Austen. You just can't leave well enough alone. I'll have to tell the reverend. Our family will be shamed forever. I must, but I wanted to give your brother a chance to confess first. Oh, and you're both invited to my debut party for Northanger Abbey. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god. Dan, what have you done? It is a truth universally acknowledged that snitches get stitches. Hello, I'm Eduardo Dantes from the bank. I was here to deliver this notice of foreclosure but it seems you may have bigger problems. Hmm? <laughs> we murdered Jane Austen with great pride and extreme prejudice. <laughs> and Eddie promised to not foreclose on the Bronte house and help cover up the murder if we helped execute his plan tonight. I'm not particularly keen on killing people, but our house has such a lovely wraparound porch, and also I don't want to go to jail. And jail you shall avoid, my dear. After killing Ernest and Oscar here, the three of us will be on our way, and surely who will believe that Edgar Allan Poe did not commit these sinister crimes himself? <laughs> no one would believe that. Well, <laughs> yes. 
This house is Murtersville. Population you. I believed it was Poe the whole time. Even as the real killer lays out his plan. Part of me still does. <laughs> it will be especially incriminating when they find all the vials of poison and planted in your room. Sorry, um, I got some blood on those. I cut myself while delivering a syringe of poison to Miss Alcott. Ah, uh, yes. After arriving late, I faked my own death as Anne turned out the lights. She then waited by the door as Louisa May Alcott, expertly spurred into action by Charlotte, ran out and stuck her with the needle of potassium cyanide. As you all checked on the body, Charlotte left the note on the table, took H.G. Wells' contraption, and put it on the other side of the kitchen door. Once again, acting on Charlotte's ever so subtle orders, Mary Shelley ran to the door. With that hallway accessible from the vault via elevator, it was I who rigged Wells' invention to the door, electrocuting Miss Shelley and paving the way for my own literary celebrity. Then, brilliantly, you all made the decision to split up. Seeing as I was with Dostoevsky, it seemed none of you would believe I was stupid enough to kill him. But I did. Oh, sweetie. I always thought you were stupid. I awaited <laughs> Oscar in the bathroom and then accidentally killed George Eliot. They look the same from behind. We have the same trainer. We do a lot of squats. I knew Agatha Christie would figure out this flimsy caper immediately, so I met her at the door when she arrived ten times with a knife. <laughs> then that damned psychic arrived. I was worried one of those ghosts might give the whole thing up. What a time I had trying to disrupt that nonsense. Indeed. When Krishanti summoned my brother, I knew she was starting to get suspicious. She had to go. I cleaned up his mess by doing away with that Dickinson chatterbox. H.G. Wells was working on something that would have caught us in the act. I ensured he would not finish it. We hadn't counted on the police showing up. I urged you to serve them the wine that I'd poisoned earlier. And Annabelle. Sweet Annabelle. When it dawned on her that I was the one who brought everyone here tonight, when she figured out that it wasn't that a number of you had caused to kill me, but I had caused to kill you, she reacted poorly, running out to find me. She felt responsible that she must put a stop to all this. But I put a stop to that. Charlotte! I've never used a gun before! You killed a man with an axe! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you can't stab a ghost. Can you? <laughs> God, Oscar. Objects. No recoil. Guess. I'm already dead. In hindsight, I really should have just used this gun. <laughs> Good God. Your popcorn is ready. Even in cases of self-defense, murder is often punishable by death. 
Don't do murder. Under the floorboards. We would have gotten away with it all if it weren't for that horrible Annabelle Lee. I blame this whole thing on Jane Austen. You guys really should have had a bit more sense and or sensibility. <laughs> oh my god. Perhaps the judge will go easy on you with a little persuasion. <laughs> this is rock bottom. I was knocked out in the scuffle with that Eddie chap. When I came to, Poe said he had escaped. Mr. Poe, your statement. Well, yes. Um, Eddie and the Brontes confessed to murdering everyone. Eddie bashed my dear friend, Ernest Hemingway, over the head. I let him. I tried to stop him from escaping, but he said, I'll run away to a different country, as he ran away forever, probably. <laughs> Odd fellow. I am deeply saddened that he murdered my... Friends. Friends is the word you're looking for. <laughs> oh, God. That is quite a lot of blood. Could be anyone's, any one of my many, many, many friends. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get really like into shipwrecked because this was just so entertaining. <laughs> uh, I've got a lot of thoughts, but let's go ahead and check out the epilogue first. Alright, Annabelle, you can do it. You can be scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not how you haunt Annabelle. I'm afraid I'm not a very good ghost. No, that's totes wrongsies. You are soups pale. You were born to be a ghost. Don't look, ready? <laughs> this is how you haunt someone, okay? <laughs> oh, that is terrifying. <laughs> I know, right? It's peculiar though. I thought I'd be more Transparent. I think that happens eventually, but I don't know. I don't hang out with the old ghosts. Do you get used to it? The idea of not being alive? That you'll just watch those you love die and remain forever in these dusty halls? Soup's dark, Anna Banana. No! God. I have the time of my life. I get to wear this dress forever. I can eat whatever I want and not gain any weight. And I can read all the time. Hell illiterate. I was reading War of the Worlds the other day. What? No, I wasn't. I haven't read his entire body of work in the time since his tragic demise. I, I don't know what you're talking about. This conversation was passing the Bechdel test until now. <laughs> and now, I'm... H.G.? Lenore? In death, I am emitting infrasound frequencies that have opened the doors betwixt the fourth and fifth dimensions. Time travel is real. Wait, what? Do you know what this means? Death is merely existence on a metaphysical plane of reality that alters the very fabric of space-time continuum. So you're a time-traveling ghost? Indeed. <laughs> my deathly form has achieved what my earthly one could not. Perhaps I could practice my haunting on you, Mr. Wells? Oh, ah. Well, only if I can record and analyze your radiation frequencies, Miss Lee. Oh, oh. Wow, I live in a house full of nerds. That's not <laughs> great. <laughs> a house full of nerds. Yeah, that. God, that was so good. That was so fun. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get big. So let me be the first to say that I am a little disappointed. Not in the web series at all, but in myself. 
I should have known that Eddie was the third killer. I really should have. He was tall. He knew Annabelle. That's why they had that conversation on the bridge before he killed her. Charlotte, the woman that I knew was the killer, checked his pulse to make sure that he was dead. It was like I had all of the dots, but I just couldn't connect them. Ah, I really, I really thought that I was going to be able to, to figure this out, but they did. They did a really good job. They did a really good job in, yeah, in everything. And I know I've said this throughout this series of reactions, but oh my god. It was, yeah, it was great. It was really well done. And honestly, I feel like it's like rekindled my love of mysteries. So if anybody out there is watching and they know of any other like mystery themed uh, web series, series I, series just let me know down in the comments, please, because I would love to check them out. They're probably not as good as this. In fact, I'm pretty certain they won't be as good as this because this was fucking next level. But I'm definitely down uh, to check that out. Um, I loved the uh, Chekhov's gun uh, reference there. That was great. Really, just all of these references were so good. I would love to go and do like a uh like in my holy musical batman when i watch that i'm like somebody should super cut all of the puns out of that i feel like somebody should just super cut all of the literary references uh out of this and quotes and all that stuff that would be that would be fun but that'd be like 80 percent of the show it was so good and you can definitely tell it was written by you know people that love literature people you know english majors uh <laughs> it was it was great uh, the big reveal, the, how they were like almost choreography, how everybody was stepping front and center, be it Eddie or Anne or Charlotte, to tell their little bit of the story. Poor Anne, she always just kind of got pushed aside. Um, <laughs> I actually don't know anything about um, about Charlotte Braun's sister. So if you guys, uh, like if you have any like fun facts about her, please, again, let me know that down in the comments. I would love to learn more about that whole killer relationship uh <laughs> uh jane austen too i love how they threw her in just to kill her uh just like um uh agatha christie uh, <laughs> was fantastic um <laughs> oh it was so good uh part of me wanted to see poe break at the end when he's getting questioned by the cops you know as he's staring at the floorboards like the telltale heart did not happen unfortunately but i'm just going to assume that he said something oh, well, you really shouldn't hide the body i mean if it's self-defense you probably won't get any you know jail time but he is edgar Allan poe nobody would believe that it was done in self-defense he's edgar Allan poe but yeah this was yeah this was wonderful this was absolutely incredible i i can't even think of anything that would have made this better. Like, I don't have a single critique. Shipwrecked and friends, like, you guys absolutely blew it out of the water. Um, yeah, so Shipwrecked, I'm pretty sure has four members, if I'm not mistaken, four main members. Uh, there was Poe, Lenore, uh, Annabelle Lee, and oh, I can't remember who the fourth person played. Is it Charlotte? No, there's no way. If it is Charlotte, let me know. But she didn't look that familiar. God, I'm going to have to watch more shipwrecked stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any shipwrecked suggestions out there for me, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, also, let me know if your theories were correct. Like, how many of you saw this coming? Like I said, I was really close, but didn't quite get there. Did any of you make it all the way there? I'm like, yup, it's got to be Eddie. Because if so... I'm very impressed. Hats off, because I was unable to do that. Top three characters, though, probably got to be Charlotte, of course, uh, Hemingway, just because Joey Richter is incredible, and Lenore. I, and really, I don't even know if I can just pick Lenore. Part of it is Lenore and Poe's amazing chemistry, but just Lenore is, like, not taking any shit, like, it's so cool. I love those characters in shows that are just there to be like, really? That's a dumb fucking idea. Like, why would you say that? Uh, so yeah, I'd say those three were the top, but there was literally not a bad character. There was never a time where a character was on screen and I'm like, eh, I really hope that they stop talking soon. 
uh, aside from the cops. But the cops were funny. They were really funny. But I wanted to get more into the, you know, subtle references kind of humor, not like the slapstick humor, and the amazing mystery writing, which we did get back into, which made this so good. Oh my god. Thank you all so much for sticking with me through this whole thing. It was so much fun. And yeah, let me know what web series I should check out next. Otherwise, I will see you all in a reaction very soon.